Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Slavi, where we make cards and other paper crafts. Today we're going to be doing this really adorable center picture window card. And I just realized what I'm going to use it for. I think that going forward, because these cards are really, really tiny, they would make just the perfect little encouragement cards to give to people. So that's what I'm going to roll with. <laughs> All right, so I started off with the back panel and I am testing out my new Wendy Vichy, I think it is, from Ranger Station. Stay Station? One of those magnetic platforms with the magnets to hold down my stencils as I work. Um, I'm using a craft mat to kind of protect the surface. I don't know if I need to protect the surface. <laughs> Anyways, it's my first time using it. It's a hot mess. I'm okay with it. Okay, so we are using the center picture window and I'm using the heart add-on that just came out with the Valentine's Day release from Lawn Fawn to do the, the center cutout. And I am going in with my Twisted Citron um, Distress Oxide ink for the grass and I'm going to be using mowed lawn as well. And the clouds I was using tumbled glass to get the cloud shapes. And then the stencils, I'm using the hillside stencils and the cloudy stencil. Um, I just got these stencils for the slimline cards, which would be perfect for these cards that are just a hair bigger than these stencils are, as they are only six inches across. And the slimlines are going to be, I think they're nine inches, but I have to double check. So that'll be great. And then you can use the, the larger slimline stencils for things like the shutter card, obviously the slimline cards, this card, and I think there's a couple of other things that um, Lawn Fawn has released in the past that would go really nicely with them. So I repeated the same process with the heart add-on panel and um, created my grass as well as my little clouds. And yeah, that was it. Um, whenever I do this kind of ink blending, I go in with a darker color just along the edges on the outside. And then for the sentiment, this is where it kind of got a little weird for me. And this is why the card kind of looks a little weird. So I don't have green embossing powder. In hindsight, I could have used a green ink and then heat embossed and clear over top of it. I will consider that for the next time because I also don't have, I don't know, the purple didn't really fit with the overall card, but I still wanted to include it as inspiration for you guys. So um, once I heat embossed my greeting, which is on a banner that goes across the actual center picture window, I then worked on the um, inside pieces of the center picture window. So there's two different things um, that come with the die. There's just straight edge ones, which I chose not to use. And then there's these hillside ones, which I chose to use because I had used the hillside stencils and it worked out just great. Um, so I used the same process. I just ink blended it, them with the Twisted Citron and the mowed Lawn. And afterwards, I actually cut out two different panels because I got a little bit of ink on the back of my big panel. So I cut out two panels um, so that there wouldn't be fold issues with the card and I stamped out the one with my greeting and I realized after the fact that I forgot the is so we'll be adding that in a little bit and I went on to the Copic coloring. I tried to keep the Copic coloring really simple in the sense that I kept reusing the same colors um, but I also knew that it was going to be really heavy in green so I have a couple of different green combinations to show you guys. I used a couple different brown combinations because I had the the wood piece and of course E15 E17 if you have been watching me for a while you know that's my favorite brown combination for wood and I was really happy with how I colored that piece of wood. It's my first time using Totally Awesome if you don't have this stamp set in your stash, it is adorable and everything in it coordinates perfectly with Swan Soiree. And um, so because it's my first time using this stamp set, I do like to use it on its own. 
And of course the card is really tiny, so I didn't have a lot of real estate to work with. But I think the next time that I use this stamp set, I am going to be incorporating it with Swan Soiree um, or some other combination of coordinating products like the Bayou Backdrop or something like that because it's just so cute. Okay, um, so I am coloring the frogs. I colored all of them the same, but I'm just showing you the one to save on time trying to reduce the length of my videos so you guys don't fall asleep of boredom and um, I chose two different colors of green for my little froggies um, with lighter bellies and I really liked this color combination so I highly recommend it and of course we've got our mosquitoes bugs whatever you want to call them and I just did them in a light brown um, I've mentioned before I'm really loving the e30s and then the lotus leaves, um, again, these are ones that you can also find in Swan Soiree, which is why they coordinate so perfectly. Um, they're just larger so that they fit on the larger lily pads that are in this stamp set. So you can swap them out, which is really nice. And uh, for the lily pads, I always color the lily pads this way. I, um, it just looks the most pleasing to my eye where I just highlight the, uh, the shadow lines in the middle to show that shadow, I guess. <laughs> I can't speak today, I'm so sorry. Um, and then I went ahead and started assembling my cards. So I lined the add-on with the fold line of the back panel. And then I actually ended up using my craft pick to fold um, the flap under so that I could adhere it properly because I didn't want to risk moving it and I did the same thing with the back pieces. I adhered these before I started assembling like the, crit the critters and stuff inside of the card um, to ensure that I had good placement and that it wouldn't get too too bulky because um, gluing the other side is much much easier. So I knew that I wanted um, this guy kind of in the forefront and I just folded it in half because it's not an exact like it doesn't have a perfect edge so this worked and then I made sure to raise it up a little bit so that you could see it through the heart on the front of the card I then attached a little piece of acetate to my little frog here I cut it down to size and I used liquid glue on the back of the frog as well as on the back of this little flap piece. Now in the finished portion of the card you'll see that the frog is kind of weird looking. I did end up moving him um, just because there was a catch point. And with the lily pad, right now you can see it's kind of poking out but I realized that that actually means that it's poking out the side of the card so I did end up moving that before the glue dried all the way as well so that there was no overlap with that fold. Um, so something for you guys to note when you make your own version of this card. Okay so then I went ahead and I attached the rest of my pieces. Um, I did set aside the one frog there on the left along with a mosquito bug thing. Um, so that I had something to decorate the front of the card with and then I went ahead and I attached a couple other things. Um, now you could add extra images over there on the right where I left it kind of blank or you can use that space to write your sentiment. Whatever you choose to do, um, it's totally up to you. I left it blank because there's not a lot of places to write anything on this card. So yeah. <laughs> And then I went ahead and I attached my last little froggy here on a lily pad. And again, first time using the stamp set would have been way more appropriate if I had found a way to incorporate some sort of water element. I think that would be super cute. So for the next one, definitely, I will be looking into that. And then I went ahead and I attached my cute little froggy to the front panel of my card so it's nice and white. I also attached a white panel with my um, stamp on the back of the card so that whoever is the happy recipient knows where it came from. I adhered the um, sentiment on the front and then, or sorry, on the center window inside. And then I adhered the front realizing that I didn't have the is and I'm a grammar Nazi so I had to add it. <laughs> 
next time better planning. Oh, and it was using Harold's ABCs that I did all of that extra writing. So I hope you enjoyed today's card video. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. And I have included some other videos for you to check out. Thanks.